it's moving day tomorrow. This is the current Winnie. Be quiet. This is the current living room situation. It was Will's 30th birthday yesterday, so I tried to make an effort despite everything that's going on. But yeah, so this is the living room situation. It looks full of stuff still because it is. So it's a lot to move tomorrow. And then we've got the kitchen. You can see all the stuff out in the conservatory. Still some bits to move in the kitchen, but for the most part it is clear. Hallways full of stuff. We're about to go to the tip, hence the porch full of stuff. The beds come down. Doggies are in the crate, which is why Winnie's crying. That is the top of my desk. Craft room is absolutely rammed full of stuff, which has obviously all got to be moved tomorrow. <laughs> Bathroom I'm sorting later. Will's office rammed full of stuff. <laughs> and bedroom. A disaster zone. Everywhere in the house is a disaster zone. But you know all the furniture's come down which is why it looks so crazy in here today and it'll all be worth it tomorrow when we moved into the new house. Um, but yeah, so the house is going to be a mess for a while because um, we want to rip out carpets straight away and redecorate. There's no point setting up your room and then having to move it all within the first couple of weeks anyway. So it's going to be a disaster zone for a while, but it's okay. It'll be worth it. <laughs> it's moving day and we've got some McDonald's breakfast. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Sorry, I know I look gross. I've got no makeup on barely slept at all but it is moving day um i'm just sat outside the place where we're renting a van from will wanted me to wait for him while he gets it all sorted just in case we're not on the list or something um but i think we are because i can see him leading them out there now um but yeah it's moving day it's really a bittersweet kind of day but at the moment i'm more excited than sad I think I'll be a little bit sad when we like leave the house for the last time and like lock the door behind us and give in the keys. I think I'll be a little bit sad then, but right now I'm just kind of excited. Um, we've got lots and lots to load up. There's still a few little last minute bits to pack because I want to go around behind Will and my dad and my brothers and everything as they're loading stuff out and clean. So the cleaning supplies need, still need to be packed and stuff. But other than that, everything is pretty much ready to go it's crazy we waited so long for this day and now it's finally here I'm kind of nervous because the new house is not very nice at the moment which i'm sure you'll see later <laughs> but yeah it's it's fine it's gonna be fine and um yeah i much prefer the area where we're going to be living it's much, much nicer, so that's good. I'm a little bit delirious. But yeah, so, moving day. I will see you very soon. the day. Now looking for tiles. Mm. Mm, bit shiny. Yeah. We think we're gonna have these on the floor of the ensuite. I quite like them, they're a bit unusual. We'll pick them out. So 
I am looking very tired because I am but today um, I have got the kitchen completely finished just give you a little tour and we went out this morning and I got a new kettle and a new toaster because my stovetop whistling kettle does not work on an electric hob. I nearly set it all on fire this morning. So we've got an electric kettle instead and I'm gonna have my first cup of tea in the new house and chill for a bit. We have been out like all day. Wills is about to try out some various colors of cream on the cream wall. So you're probably not really gonna be able to see anything, but. We know we want to paint this room cream just to keep it neutral. Winnie is climbing all over me. Help! Right, it is Monday morning and the BT engineer has just been and he's sorted out our internet so we now have Wi-Fi which is brilliant but now that things are a little bit more sorted downstairs I thought I would show you what things are looking like so far. So this room will eventually be my craft room and it's a bit dark in here because we've got hedges outside but we're going to cut those back. Archie's coming in to show you the room. I've got one of my rabbits up there. Yes, I know the cage is too small. It's temporary because we've been moving. The rest of them are at my mum and dad's house. Um, and Will actually went and bought me a new shed yesterday so they'll be all set up in their shed um, very soon. But for now, we've just got to work with what we've got. Um, but this is like all of my, like, st well, this isn't all of my stuff at all. I've still got loads of stuff in storage and a whole bedroom full of stuff at my parents' house, like all of my Emma Bridgewater and my special books and stuff. But a lot of this came out of my craft room <laughs> and um, eventually it'll all be set up in this room. The big dog crate is in here at the moment too. Then you come into the living room, which I tried to sort out a little bit yesterday because I was getting stressed with the boxes. So we've got our little chest here. This is Will's office chair, which will be going upstairs. That's my blanket, not his. We've got the sofa, which again, Archie is modelling so beautifully for you. Coffee table, TV unit with a TV. All of these cables will not be staying like that, by the way. Winnie's bed and toys we've got double doors out into the garden the bunny shed's gonna go there now winnie is modeling her bed for you we've got a junk corner because we've just moved in and then across the hallway we head into the kitchen which you've already seen but it looks a teeny bit different now so i stopped filming then because the engineer is literally just like chilling outside my house but i'm just gonna carry on filming <laughs> anyway um so when you come into the kitchen you've got this larder unit here um and then we've got a little freezer here and a fridge here which the old owner actually left behind which is handy because our fridge freezer broke shortly before we moved um the worktops are real wood but they haven't been looked after at all which is such a shame so they're in really bad condition um and like damp in places but Eventually we're going to knock through into the garage and change all this anyway, so it's fine for now. Microwave, new kettle, Archie's barking at something, there must be a cat in the garden or something. Um, the cupboards go up like this and there's this cute glass fronted cupboard that I've put some Evie and Kath Kidston in. It's like the only stuff I've got at the moment, the rest of it's at my mum's. This is what the rest of it looks like double sink, beautiful flowers from my, well, Will's parents, dog treats, electric hob, which I'm not enjoying, and new toaster, there's cupboards all along there as well, and then the oven is there. The thing I'm loving about this kitchen is that there's loads of storage, like all these cupboards, we haven't even used them all. Oh, and there's the washing machine and the dishwasher, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's so many cupboards and we haven't even used them all because there's so many, but, um, yeah, I'm loving the kitchen. Well, new house, 
still using my iPad as a stand for my phone. Wow, my, okay, let's just, yeah. So, I was editing this moving vlog together this morning because we finally have internet now, like I said. Um, I was editing the vlog together this morning and I realised that I hadn't really, um, like, explained anything about moving day itself because the day was so hectic that I didn't really get a chance to film anything properly. I made sure that I filmed a little bit of the house when it was empty and closing the door for the last time because I was the last one left in the house. But other than that, I hadn't really filmed anything. So I thought I would just sit down quickly and just sort of talk you through what happened on moving day. Um, because so many of you wanted a moving vlog and I feel like I owe it to you to do it. Of course my rabbit's now having a drink while I'm about to film. <laughs> um, but yeah, so moving day. We woke up really early on Friday and went to pick up the moving van and I think you saw that. Um, and then Will and I came back home and he started moving everything from upstairs, downstairs, so that it would be easier to take out. Um, and for a while it was just us two and then my dad turned up with his truck and I was expecting my dad to bring my brothers, his employees. What is my rabbit doing? <laughs> But yeah, I thought my dad would bring my brothers and his employees because my dad is a builder and he has a small team of employees and I thought they were all coming and it was just my dad. So for ages, um, my dad and Will were moving furniture out and I said to my dad, like, where's my, where's Ryan, my brother? Where's Ryan and Liam, my bro both my brothers? And he was like, oh, they're at home in bed, blah, blah, blah. He was like really annoyed and I was like, well... I'm not having that. So I texted them and I was like, you need to come and help because we have not got long until we have to hand the keys in and Will and Dad cannot move all this stuff on their own. Um, Cause I was going behind and like cleaning and hoovering and everything. As a room was emptied, I was cleaning it and hoovering it. Um, so I wasn't much use with like carrying things in and out and loading up the van. So my brother and his girlfriend came over. Eventually all of my dad's employees came over. And once that happened, the house started emptying out pretty quickly. Um, we were so lucky to have all of the help on the day that we had. Um, we would not have been able to do it by ourselves um, without hiring a removal company. So we're currently looking for a nice gift to get for my dad to help, uh, to thank him for all of his help. Um, but I don't know what to get him because he's not, there's not a lot of things that he likes. Um, but yeah, so the day itself was really stressful. The morning was so stressful. Um, to the point where I was almost in tears. Not because I was sad to leave the house, but just because it was so stressful <laughs> getting it all ready. But then as soon as we got to the new house, I just felt totally like, I don't know, just totally happy and calm. And it didn't even matter that everything was in boxes or like loaded into the garage. I just was so happy to be here. And I think like, I didn't realise how much it was getting to me living where we lived before. I haven't really... No thanks, I don't need you to start barking. Come and sit with me. I didn't really go into it very much about... No. No. I didn't really go into it very much. Um, like details of what sort of went on where we were living before and um, whatever. We were living on an estate in a not very nice area <laughs> and here we're living in a sort of um, more villagey setting we've got the forest right on our doorstep um, which will be perfect for the dogs yes <laughs> so it'll be perfect for them and um, it's just so quiet so I just I don't know I just feel so chill and like so happy to be here and um, yeah we've already sort of started settling in and sorting out the rooms and, and making plans for what we want to do and we're hoping to do the bathroom and fit an ensuite first which will be really nice um, and this week I want to try and tackle my craft room as well so yeah there's all your updates for you Archie's settling in well
Is there somebody out there? <coughs> it's the postman. <laughs> so, it is Tuesday morning and the house looks like this again because I've decided to paint the craft room. So last night I did all of the cutting in, but I feel like the dark walls need one more coat um, of cutting in. Um, so I'm gonna try and finish it today. I've just put the dust sheet down properly. And um, yeah, hopefully by the end of, this end of the day, this room will all be cream and it will look a lot lighter in here. So this is what it's looking like now. I'm pretty sure that this wall is done. This has got a mist coat on, this has got a mist coat on, and then this back wall, which is also cream. I feel like that needs one more coat. You can see that it's kind of patchy. So I've been to take my mum to her hospital appointment. Archie, you need to get out. There's wet paint in here. Archie, out. Good boy. Um, I took my mum to a hospital appointment this morning. I'll spin you around, but just ignore the chaos in the background. It is literally chaos. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I took my mum to a hospital appointment this morning and then um, came back and did the second coat on the back wall and um, the mist coat on the left blue wall and then um, now I've got to go out again to take Archie to agility so when I come home I'm hoping that I can do the second coat on this front wall here with the arch and the second the first proper coat on this wall so yeah we'll see what we get done So it's Wednesday morning, I've just hoovered in here and this is how it's looking. It's so, it feels really dark in this room on camera but it's not as bad in person. Okay, so you can see that the walls could probably do with another coat of paint. However, I've decided for now to leave it because one, I kind of ran out of paint last night and two, um, eventually we want to replace the roof of this part of the house. It's an extension and it has a flat roof on it and it could really do with a sloping roof. Um, so eventually the roof's gonna have to be replaced and we're gonna have a skylight put in and everything. So like <laughs> when the room is cleared out for that and the roof is replaced, it's gonna be a mess in here and I can repaint it then, if you know what I mean, rather than waste more time doing it now. So as long as you don't look too closely, it looks all right in here. Um, and it means I can start putting my stuff in. I'm just gonna hang something over those for now. But yeah, the carpet is okay. It's really clean. I think it's quite new. Um, not necessarily what I would have chosen because it's got a bit of a funny pattern to it, but it's fine. So I'm gonna keep it we can start putting my stuff in here. So I'm looking for Archie and I realise I can't find him. 
So I call him. He doesn't come. Look where I find him. Laying on my pillow. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here, Archie? So I have spent my day putting up furniture again. I haven't been able to do my desk because I need a wrench to tighten the bolts in the legs and I can't find a wrench anywhere. But I've done my Calyx unit and I've got one of my bookcases up as well, which I bought in from the garage. I don't think it's going to stay there. As you can see, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it from that side kind of leaning backwards it makes me a little bit nervous having them on carpet because I just don't feel like they're secure like this really just feels like it could like just fall <laughs> do you know what I mean so I'm not 100% sure how I feel about having the bookcases on carpet in all honesty um I presume you can probably secure them to the wall but in that case I would have to move this somewhere else um, in the room so that I could secure it rather than in this corner slot. But anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on at you. Um, this is what I've been up to today. It's not staying like this. I literally just picked up a load of boxes from the living room and popped them in here to get them out of the way. Most of my stuff is actually in storage or at my mum's house. So um, yeah, it won't look like this. Hopefully by the time I upload the next vlog, it will be a proper look at my new craft room so yes i'm gonna leave this vlog here i think bye guys